Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to show uh, this last feature that I made. It's called uh, Insert Geometry Online. So the um, principle is that if you have a, a line, you can insert a box or an arc. So yeah, let's, let's show you uh, how it goes. Um, basically, you select the line and there you go. You see you have a box and if you press shift, it will alternate between uh, the box, uh, the, an arc and uh, an arc in the other direction. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can select like this and uh, it creates, you see, it deletes actually the initial line and it creates uh, those lines. And what is very nice about this feature is that it uh, it actually uh, transfer all the uh, constraints that were to uh, the, the initial line to uh, those lines. So you don't lose like mm, the, the full, if you have a fully constrained um, a sketch you don't lose uh, the constraints so let's make an oblong for to show you how how it goes um, maybe that's 150 um, radius 15 so yeah there we go you can select as I told you the line and you can um, you can also use tool settings here so you can put the start length it means the distance from uh, the start uh, so you we, let's put 10 here and then you see you can either drop the second point or you can also uh, choose the insert length and the insert depth so yeah basically let's put um, 30 here and depth 15 there you go and you see here uh, the tool created uh, the constraints that uh, you entered in tool settings, but also you we didn't lose the uh, constraints which were applied to uh, the the original line, which is yeah pretty handy, and uh, and you can do the you can do the same with the arc. So let's let's try that. Uh, let's twenty insert. Uh, wait, w let's restart the tool because we didn't switch to arc. Um, yeah, so it's done. Here we can select also the insert length. It means the distance between this point and uh, the this point, the second point. So we can, uh, I don't know, yeah, 30 again. And then you see you still have to drop the center point um, and you can choose the distance to the line. So if you put uh, zero, it will just be in the middle and if you put five it will be uh, a bit on top and so on so let's put five here there you go so you see you have um, again a fully constrained uh, object and you don't lose the tangent here so that's pretty nice well thanks for watching and uh, don't hesitate to post on the on the forum if you have any question or if you uh, if you want to tell us, uh, tell me uh, what you think about uh, this feature and, um, and have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.